everyone, this is Tim with Online Big Blue bringing you the best in New York Giants sports talk and entertainment. So we're running down some breaking news today. And what is that breaking news? Leonard Williams looks like he is definitely going to be tagged by the New York Giants. We had received a report last night that it was going to happen. We didn't say anything because, honestly, we didn't believe it. But then we woke up this morning and see that Adam Scheffner is saying that, yes, the Giants are going to franchise tag Leonard Williams. What does that mean for the New York Giants? Well, here's my issue. The trade never made sense from the beginning. We gave up a 2020 third round pick and a 2021, uh, excuse me, 2021 fifth round pick that will turn into a fourth round pick if we resign Leonard Williams. Now, Leonard Williams in his eight games with the Giants, of course, had only a half a sack, but I always hear about his hidden intrinsic values to the defense. The problem is we did a couple of videos breaking down what Leonard Williams' actual value was to the defense. And at one point, we, like I said, we did the numbers, and the Giants went from have, giving up four yards a carry to 3.5 during Leonard Williams' eight games. And that was, if you broke down the actual yards per game and everything else, it was a negative three-yard difference. So we were holding opposing offenses to three yards less a game with Leonard Williams in the game. Now, is that going to be worth $15 million? Because honestly, yes, we we are gaining more and more cap space every day. But again, people need to remember we need to have $13 million of that cap space available for our rookie pool for after training camp so we can sign our players. And we also have talked about the Rule of 51 in, in one of our previous videos, so we're not going to get into that. So are we willing to take a large portion of our cap, give it over to Leonard Williams so he can either play defensive tackle or defensive end and only have an intrinsic value? I mean, he had one Pro Bowl season. He, the number of sacks that he has since he's been in the league is, is nothing special. He played mainly as a defensive tackle last year, in which Gettleman wants to tag him as a defensive tackle, but he wants to be paid like a defensive end. I mean, yeah, and then he's already mentioned that if the Giants tag him as a defensive tackle, that he's going to file a grievance with the Players Association, so he could be tagged as a defensive end, even though if you take a look at the majority of his plays, we're at the defensive tackle position. The trade, like I said, never made sense from a Giants standpoint and perspective. Yes, he is only 25 years old. And yes, people will say he generates lots of pressure. You know, that's great and all. But you know what? In this league, you need to get to the quarterback. You see someone like Yannick Ngagwe. And like I said, we're not huge Yannick Ngagwe fans. But you see someone like Yannick, and you know what? He still gets to the quarterback. Is he worth $22 million a year? No, I don't think so. But as a defensive end who is a pass rusher, that is what the going marketplace is. That's like people used to bash Eli Manning for saying, oh, Eli Manning makes all this money, and Eli Manning is not worth all that money. Well, the problem with that is Eli Manning was being paid what the market dictated. So if you're telling me that the market dictates, if you take a look at Leonard Williams' value and his statistics, the market dictates him being paid in the top five or top ten of defensive end and defensive tackle positions, I'm going to say you're crazy because he doesn't. Right now, his, his value is he stays healthy, he can help get pressure, and people say, well, his intrinsic value is a run. Well, like I said, we can prove statistically that his run stoppage was not was minute compared to where the Giants were in the first eight games. And also we can say and also I think we're detracting from the fact that from Dalvin Tomlinson and Dexter Lawrence. Because of the fact that, yes, Leonard Williams came in, but those two players really picked up their game throughout the season. It wasn't just when Leonard Williams came in. Dexter Lawrence was becoming a player from week one and slowly progressed every week. So we're basically eliminating the value or disregarding that value to the team. 
you know, and it's the same thing that the secondary started to play, you know, better as well towards the end of the season because of the fact that Betcher stopped playing so much soft zone and stopped putting, you know, the, his cornerbacks seven to nine yards off the receivers when most of our guys are cover corners, man cover corners. And if you have, you know, like DeAndre Baker, we've said it before, DeAndre Baker's got four or five speed. You know, he is, he coming out of Georgia, he was a man cover corner. You got him playing in a soft zone. You put the, you put him seven to nine yards off the receiver and give the receiver a running start. Bad things are going to happen. So, is the Leonard Williams tag a good thing or a bad thing? You know what? Here's my other thing. You know, Dave Gelman has rescinded the tag before. We could just take a look at Josh Norman. You know, so I'm not overly worried about it. I am overly worried that Leonard Williams will file a grievance and say, you know, and you know, like I said, he's already said he'll fire, file a grievance if we tag him as a defensive tackle, saying that he wants to be a defensive end, even though statistically he's proven he plays more in the defensive tackle position. And honestly, do we need another defensive tackle? That's why I get worried when they look at, when they look at Brown <laughs> in the draft. I'm like, oh, dear Lord, another defensive tackle. We don't need that. But you know what? We have to have hope and faith that the Giants know what they're doing. We have to keep our fingers crossed that we can get Leonard Williams at a reasonable price or a fair market value price. And like I said, hopefully, you know, Gettleman and Jones have some type (laughs) – I mean, Jones, Judge. Gettleman and Judge have some type of plan. And I I have to keep my fingers crossed that they do, and we all do. And we can only hope and just see what happens. And again, this is Tim with Online Big Blue bringing you the best in New York Giant sports talk and entertainment. And thanks for listening.